What's going on guys? Bob Oskirk here at Think Computers and I'm showing you the UEFI BIOS on ASUS's X99A motherboard. Now, this BIOS should be pretty much the same through all of ASUS's X99 motherboards. You might see a different type of skin or something like that depending on the motherboard, say if it's an ROG board or something like that, but the overall functionality should be the same. So when you go into the BIOS, the first thing you're gonna see is this sort of easy mode screen. Um, you can easily get out of it, but um, for people who just wanna make some quick settings or check some things really quick, it makes it extremely easy to do that. All you have to do, um, well, you don't have to do anything, but you can um, see your DRAM status and you can easily enable your XMP profile here. Um, you can disable it or have XMP enabled. So that's one of the things that you typically do whenever you install new memory or build a new system is enable that XMP profile. So you fully, really don't have to go fully into the BIOS to do that. You can turn Intel Rapid Storage Technology on or off. You can see all of your fans here. So we have, you can see our CPU fan and then our, um, we have one fan on our test bench here and you can see the speed that they are running at. You can also um, do your Q fan control, which we'll go into in a little bit. Um, boot, pri boot priority is over here and you can easily move these up or down. Um, you can easily tune your system as well. We have it on normal right now. And then you can see all your BIOS information, information on your CPU speed and a live report of your CPU temperature as well as voltage. You can easily go up here and change the language and they actually have this easy tuning wizard. So if you want to easily overclock your system, it's extremely easy to do. You just answer a few questions. So if we go in here, we can see what everything is set at. We actually have our system overclocked right now, but you go in, you can set up your PC scenario. So whether it's daily computing or gaming, um, and then you can select your cooling system, whether it's a box cooler, tower cooler, water cooler, you're not sure. And then it'll give you an evaluation and it will tune the system um, right off the bat, right there in the BIOS. It's extremely easy to do. Um, but for those who want to go a little bit more into the BIOS, all you have to do is hit F7 and that will take you into the main BIOS and you can hit it again to go back. So you can see how easy you can switch between. But our main BIOS is the typical BIOS that you're used to seeing. Um, the main page right here, so you can see we're on the main tab, gives you all your information about the system and what, it, what BIOS version you're running and everything like that. And typically, if you wanted to, you would more or less load into the My Favorites section, but we don't have anything added to the Favorites. But you can add um, any setting right here to your Favorites page. So if you're changing one setting a lot and you don't want to go through the menus, you can add them here. And they're just e lot, you know, a lot easier to access. So we'll move over to AI Tweaker, and this is everything that you're going to want to do for overclocking and tuning your system manually. So you can, what's one thing I really like to see, um, they give you your target CPU um, frequency and your target DRAM frequency. Um, what that does is it, it lets you know that when you're changing these values, um, what, what the target's going to be or what your frequency is going to be set at. So that's one good thing I like to see. And this has everything that you're gonna need for overclocking. And as we move down, you can go into all your voltages and set everything how you want. Um, there are quite a lot of options in here. And then you can set up your DRAM timing if you like. If we go out of that, um, your DigiPower control, um, you can set all your power settings and all of that. And your CPU power management, this is where you can turn on things like turbo mode, Intel speed step, and all of those settings are in there. Moving over to advanced, this is where you're gonna find all of your configurations for everything that's on the board, more or less. So this is where you can, you know, um, set up the different things with your CPU in there. You can go ahead and set up your storage options, um, whether you wanna enable SATA Express and, and different things like that, enable or disable the SATA ports and change um, their operation and all of that you know, USB configurations, all of that stuff you can go ahead and set in the advanced. We're not gonna go into all of these because these are typical. On pretty much all um, motherboards, you will have these configurations for the components that are on the board itself. If we go into monitor, this will monitor all of your temperatures as well as your fan speeds. Um, so you can see your CPU temperature, motherboard temperature, all of that right in here and you can see um, all the different fans, you will be able to monitor their temperatures in real, in real time in the BIOS. And you can actually tune the fans in the BIOS as well. Um, it's a pretty cool tool that allows you to tune the fans for the best performance in your case. Um, makes it really easy. You can set up, and you can set up fan profiles and all that stuff, um, you know, in there if you like. 
If we go into boot, of course, this is gonna set your boot device priorities. And if you have fast boot enabled, um, USB support, SATA support, all that, different supports um, for when you go ahead and boot, all of that is in this setup. And then into tool, we have some cool tools here. So the first one is GPU post. And what this does is this actually shows you a live readout of your PCI Express slots and what's installed. So in our first PCI Express slot, you can see we have a NVIDIA GPU and it's running at X16 native. This is cool. So if you have two or three cards installed, you can actually see if they're running at X8 speed, X16 speed, all of that. Just gives you a readout of actually what's in your um, <clears throat> what's in your slots is actually you know a pretty cool thing and again it just lets you know the speeds that they're running at we have our easy flash 2 utility and this will allow you to easily flash your bios um, using a usb thumb drive extremely easy to do i've done it so many times with asus boards it's just that simple um, we'll go ahead and exit out of that we have our overclocking profile so what you can do is you can set overclocking profiles um, so you can save and load profiles extremely easily um, if you have a certain setting if you're playing you know gaming or you know you want a certain overclock setting for, for doing certain things you can go ahead and load them easily in here and we have our SPD information this will give you your live information um, on your memory so you can see we have micron memory in here um, module size, the bandwidth and all of that. And then you can get, you know, you have your exit settings, save changes and exit, blah, blah, blah. But there's also some cool things. Um, first we have our, my favorites, which this is where you can add your favorites. Um, so say I want to go into AI tweaker and I want to take a little bit there, but I want to, um, I don't know, let's say I want to change, you know, my uh, BCLK frequency, I want to add that. So I'm going to add that to my favorites and I'm going to add our CPU core ratio because that's something I'm going to want to change as well. Um, and we'll hit escape and then if I go to my favorites, you can see that those two options are now in there. So that's where you can go ahead and manage your favorites. And, and all of that, it's, it's really easy to use. You, know, you can add everything that you want in there. We have QFAN control. And what this will do is you can set different um, fan profiles. So we're on standard. You can see the dip, how the graph changes as we pick certain things. Um, and you can manually set the graph as well um, for the different fans that you do have installed, which is pretty cool. And we have our easy tuning wizard, which we showed you just before that will go in and, um, you know, ask you certain questions about your PC scenario and your cooling and all of that. And it will pick a desired overclock. And then we have quick note, which I think was added um, on the Z97 motherboards, I believe. And what that does is I can type in whatever I want and save the note. So if I'm overclocking or I'm doing something in the system boots at say, 4.4 gigahertz, you can put 4.4 gigahertz boot. And then maybe I went up to 4.5 and it failed. I can type that in and we can save that. So then when I go in my quick note, I can say, okay, 4.4, that boot 4.5 failed. So I'm not gonna set it at 4.5. You know, you can just have different things in there. And then if we hit this over here, the hotkeys, this will just tell you all of your hotkeys, um, you know, to easily move around the BIOS much easier. And that is basically it. And again, you can hit that F7 to go back to the main screen here. So um, this BIOS works really well. It's really snappy. It hasn't froze on me or anything like that. It's one of the best BIOSes that I've seen out there for the X99 platform. So if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. And remember guys, if you enjoy our videos, why don't you subscribe? Catch you guys later.